Hello everyone, hope you're doing all right. Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about order blocks and why I think they are misunderstood by a lot of people and are used wrong. So I want to make this pretty quick and I think the best thing for you to do is if you watch this, understand what I'm trying to say, then after go into your own charts and go look for it yourself because i think once you do that you learn the most all right i have two situations outlined today and i want to talk about the first one right now so you see a list here number one draw on liquidity do second one support or resistance levels aka pd array third one displacement away from the pd array the fourth one, return to order block. So why I think order blocks are misunderstood is because you need a draw on liquidity. If you are bullish and you have a draw on liquidity that's on the upside, so buy side liquidity, for example, this buy side liquidity, then all the down closed candles here are order blocks since our draw on liquidity is on the upside now if you don't have a clear draw on liquidity then i advise to always stay out until you do have a clear draw on liquidity but let's say this is our draw on liquidity then what's this this is not an order block this is exactly the reason why you see ict mentioned a lot of the times this is not a breaker or not every down close or up close candle is an order block it's because it doesn't fit his narrative it doesn't fit his draw on liquidity so the first thing you need to have is a draw on liquidity draw on liquidity leads to your bias so let me write that down doll leads to your bias in this case bullish then the draw on liquidity and how price delivers into your draw on liquidity becomes your narrative so if we look at this situation we are bullish our draw on liquidity is buy side liquidity of course everything is in hindsight then the draw on liquidity since it's on the buy side liquidity our bias is bullish the narrative is how we will deliver into the draw liquidity and so the narrative becomes every down closed candle is in, indeed an order block and should be respected so we can't expect up closed candles in in here this is not an order block this is, is not an order block all the bearish so-called order blocks they're, they're not order blocks because they don't fit our narrative they don't fit the draw on liquidity i hope that makes sense so now we got that out of the way because that's the most important part for you to understand if you don't understand please let me know and i'll try to explain it one more time so now we have our draw on liquidity our bias bullish narrative what's the first thing we look at where are we coming off of support or resistance levels aka pd array this bullish order block it's a bullish order block why because it fits our narrative it fits our doll we're consolidating here we move away from the consolidation this yes exactly this is our bullish order block why because this overlaps it overlaps the entire consolidation here as you can see it's big this is all inside this order block so we move away from it aka displacement away fourth return to order block return here into this order block what do we create a new order block why is this order block fits our doll then 
second one, support or resistance level, aka PD ray, is this previous order block. Third one, displacement away, displacement away here. Fourth, return to order block here. Then what do we create? A new order block. Again, I'm going to repeat, 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 because that's the best thing for you to learn. Why is it an order block? Dull, still the buy side liquidity. Second, support or resistance, aka PD array. That's this order block, the previous one. Third, displacement away, displace away from it. All consecutive down candles become one order block, return to order block here. So, our next order block. Dull, PD array, displacement away, return to order block. Exactly. Now, why does it need to fit our draw on liquidity? If we know institutions, banks, whatever you want to call them, are buying in down candles, buy, 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 buy. What happens once we take our draw on liquidity? All the buys are getting paired with buy stops aka the stop losses of people that were short and put their stop losses here. People that got tricked into shorts, breakout traders, etc., got tricked into shorts, put their stop loss above recent highs, which is this one. We, no, not exactly me, but the banks, you get what I'm saying, are buying the down candles. So all the orders, that are bought, we are in lungs, get distributed above this high. They take profit above this high and they need their buys to pair with sales. And that's how the market works. You need sales to pair with buys, buys to pair with sales to get out of the market. So all the buys here in all the down candles, they get closed or partially closed I don't have insight into the bank, so I can't tell you for sure, but they get close above this high because they get paired with sells their stop losses. Hope that makes sense. So all the long orders in here, all the buys in the down close candles by the banks are now paired with stop losses from people that were short. All right, I hope that made some sense. Let's go into the next situation right here. All right, second situation. We're coming off of a reaction off of this old order block. First consolidation right here our first target second target the clear eagle highs then we're also going to use this breaker block and take this one breaker So now I have our draw on liquidity that led to our bias. Our bias is bullish here. Our narrative is that all the PD arrays should hold every down closed candle is indeed an order block because we are bullish. Going to hop into the five minute chart first because I want to go over this example. So here we are, we are coming off of this previous order block on the five minute chart, trade into it. Our big order block is this one. The inside order block is this one. Here we have support or resistance level, okay, this one, displacement away return to order block. Another inside order block. 
So again, it's the same over and over and over, dull PD array, displacement away, return to order block. Again and again and again and again. So here we see it again. Return to it. This becomes our order block, doesn't get traded to. All right, so be it. So next one is trade back into this. We actually, if we look at a 50 minute, trade back into this big order block. Right here. Sorry, yes. Why is this an order block? Again, number one, dull, bullish, previous PD array, boom, displacement away, boom, return to order block, boom. So we trade back into this order block here. Now we are back on the five minute time frame. Trade back into it here. Displacement away. Return to order block. How did this one get created? Displacement away. Return to order block. How did this one get created? At previous PD array. Displacement away. Return to order block. See how here there's no order block because it doesn't fit any criteria. Makes sense now. So this is the breaker line. Sorry, that's a bit a bit confusing. So here we have the breaker. Again, what we see what do we see? Our draw on liquidity, our first target is still here. Here we trade back into this FEG, trade back into probably a larger order block, displays away from it, this becomes our order block. Voila, we take the first target. Now this is where the thing gets tricky because now people, a lot of people still try to buy every down close candle and you need and you need to make sure you still have a clear draw on liquidity. Now we have met the first target, which was this draw on liquidity, which were some equal highs to the left right here. Now what, what has happened? Every long order by the banks has now been distributed or partially distributed above the highs they are paired with stop losses of short orders so we can expect a bigger retracement and possibly the cycle starts all over again if we retrace back into a higher time frame pd array first so let's look at this one that's why we had the breaker here this is a four hour breaker if i'm not mistaken trade into the breaker what happens here our doll still bullish support or resistance level this one the breaker displacement away return to order block also a quick golden nugget write it down if you want the reason why ICT uses the wicks sometimes instead of the body and sometimes the body instead of the wicks for an order block is because if the wick is overlapping with an FEG like here, then you use the wick. If the wick isn't overlapping with an FEG like here, the wick isn't overlapping with FEG, then you use the body. All right, now we got that out of the way. So here we have a down close candle. We have no displacement away and it isn't created at a support or resistance level. So trade back into this one. Then this becomes our order block. So the open of the candle, not the wick because there's no overlapping FEG. 
this becomes our new order block in theory no overlapping fg boom fails here why see what this is one big consolidation consolidation move back down into the breaker take the highs of the consolidation all the long orders got stopped with stop losses of the people that were short here and decided to short the breakout of the consolidation then what happens we return to the original order block and watch this on a higher time frame one bigger order block So this is one bigger order block. So the cycle starts again. Trade higher. This eventually becomes our bigger order block. Then we focus on the inside order blocks for now. This is not an order block, why not? doesn't form at any support or resistance level, doesn't form at a PD array, and doesn't displace away. This is our order block. First, no displacement, no real displacement. You could possibly say this displacement here, but no real displacement away. Then it consolidates for a little bit. Then again, here we see new order block creation order block this gets formed at at a pd array this places away all right that's our order block so what do we see here i'm going to give you a hint look at the precision beautiful here we form at this mitigation block then push away this becomes our order block here these two down candles they form at the previous order block look at the precision again it's beautiful here we miss it by a few points then I think here is where we took the consolidation. Oh, we already took it here. All right. So I hope this made some sense. I hope you go into, into the chart on your own and find it for yourself. Use these four things, draw on liquidity, support or resistance levels, AKA your PD arrays the displacement away from the previous PD array, then return to order block. That's it. I hope you found this insightful. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you understand why I think order blocks are misunderstood and why the draw on liquidity is so, so, so important. Also for the draw on liquidity, I know a lot of people struggle with it. There's a notion from myself coming that's called ARIO's helping hand. And I will teach you how to get to a draw on liquidity more easily. Also, if you've noticed and you stuck it out to the end, notice how all these were inside a market maker model. That's something we'll touch on in the next possible videos. I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.